start with a not square beam. First thing first, remove it, take it out, unload, place it on the bed. Second step, we loosen all the bolts, half a turn on all of them. And then so the they are all on this side. Third step, we only want to start adjusting with the first and third wheel on both sides. So, we just want to bring all the cams, actually the cams for the first and third wheel on both sides in the same orientation. I like to do it away from me. And then just nip them down. have them where they face the same direction and now we try to set the preload on the first set of wheel in my case that looks that looks okay and now we ignore second row of wheels we go straight to third one again we're trying to see get the preload right this one's a bit uh, loose so I shall I'll go give this one a bit more preload. That one seems a bit loose. Yes. A bit extra preload here. And then you push the beam all the way in and check your squareness. As you can see, on this side. I'm a bit further in than this side. So, which means the beam needs to do this twist. To twist, I can either go on those two wheels and to square it this way, I will need to give more cam on this one, pull it more in, and mix it up, and take a bit of this one. Try again and check for squareness. I'm a much better, still a bit off. If you want to carry on, you can adjust and readjust until you get it perfect. So that's what I shall do. I'll give a bit more on this side, and I think that should be enough. And take a bit, I think, of this one. Now we should be, that's almost perfect, that's almost perfect. Now, we bring the beam out completely as we've set our squareness. And we just lock, fully lock the first set of wheels as well in this position. It's a case of holding, lock, pull down lock and we just check our preload again yeah, there, that goes in nicely check again our squareness yeah it has not changed because it might be it might change if you move the cam now with the motors locked in position you can pull the beam back until the pinions are right on the edge and that will hold the beam into place so that this is the easiest way i found doing it and using a stool as well we go and set the rest of the wheels initially just get them so they are orientated in the same direction and getting all the cams pointing that way to start with Okay, now they're all in, now we just have to set the preload. So those are, there's not enough preload. Check the cams. Looks like, in my case, I need to give this one just a tiny bit more cam. 
more preload. Just mix it up and check again. Yep, now it feels nice. Push it back in. Yeah, it must still feel quite square, so I can fully tighten those up because I am happy with that preload. And check the squareness. It's a bit more out than this, but it's within tolerance. So I'm happy with that. We we'll push it back out, exposing last. We only need to do the last wheels. Just bring the cams the same direction. Now, if you have small differences, like in my case, where this side uh, is just I would say around half a mil to one mil more out. You can adjust that much from the last wheel. So what I will do, I'll just give this wheel a bit more preload and take off a bit of preload off this one. And check that it fits in, it goes in. And then we check our squareness. And yeah, I still need a bit more to be perfect. Need to add a bit of preload. And then remove a bit of preload from this side. And that, that is almost perfect. You'll struggle to to achieve more square than that. So this is pretty much the whole procedure. Just to make it maybe a bit easier. So you only initially adjust preload on those four uh, wheels, because then it's easier to get the squareness instead of trying to do it straight away with all the wheels. So you only start two wheels, it's easy to adjust then the squareness, you can do it from the back wheels, you can do it from the front wheels or a combination of to achieve squareness and then after you're happy with the squareness you lock them down and you just adjust the remaining to four, four wheels to that. And to adjust tiny tiny differences you can use the rear wheels just to give Put a bit more load to one side or the other and that will square, square it perfectly. Thank you.